Hey everybody, today we're going to cover autofocus and manual focus. 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to be using the autofocus, but in those rare situations where you need to know how to use the manual focus, we're going to go through that as well. So let's move you on over to the machine, take a look at the control panel, and see how we set this up. So when you're working on a project, this is going to be your home screen. And up here on the top bar, in the blue bar, you have AF. So this is your autofocus. Now, using the autofocus, you're going to be checking out on the bed, looking for your red dot. And depending on your location of your job origin, in Lightburn, this is going to correlate to the position of your red dot. So I'm, I'm choosing the top left-hand corner. And once I have my red dot positioned over the top left-hand corner, all I have to do is hit the autofocus button, and it's going to ask me if things are clear, because it does have to move the head a little bit. Because if you look at the position of the plunger, the autofocus plunger that goes up and down, it is, again, like, uh, I want to say about a, a half an inch behind where the red dot is. So it's going to move the head forward, and it's going to tap off or touch down where the red dot is. So I'm going to confirm that everything is clear, and it's OK to move the head and autofocus. Click OK. As you can see, it moves forward right to where the red dot was, touches down, and then moves back. At this point, you are in focus and ready to go. Now, if you happen to need to use the focus tool, which is just this little T-bar, the T-bar sits on top of your two thumbnail screws. And it should touch, the little probe on the bottom should touch your piece of material. Now, if you have distance further away, you know, if it's sitting like this, or it's too far uh, down into the material, then you can use the Z button, which is going to be right here, up and down. And then let's move it down a little bit. As you can see, we have too much of, too much of a gap there. So we would have to move our material up a little bit until that probe touched. And this is literally just the distance that the autofocus is tuning it to as well. So you have two methods. You have the focus tool, this little T-bar, and then you also have the autofocus by hitting the autofocus button. Both very easy to do. Um, like I said, 99% of the time you're going to be using the autofocus. Just a simple and easy process, um, you know, and, and highly intelligent since it is moving it to wherever you are uh, placing your red dot. Hope that helps, and we'll be on to the next video.